This is the 18th video in Chapter 4 of Google SketchUp for Dummies. It's called Making Hip Roofs, and it's all about creating a hip out of a gable. So when the end of your roof has sloped and it comes all the way to the end, kind of just like it's been lopped off by a big cutting machine or something here, that's called a gabled roof. But when the end of the roof, the, the peak here is kind of pulled back so that it kind of, the end of the roof angles like this, that's called a hip roof, and they're, they're actually really easy to do in SketchUp. We're going to start with the gabled roof we made in the previous video, because you start with a gabled roof whenever you want to make a hip roof anyway. Okay, let's see. What we're going to do is get the line tool from right up here, and what I need to do is make sure that I have an edge that goes right across. See, at the end of the last video, I deleted an edge that used to be here. So I'm going to go back and put that edge back in. So I want to draw an edge from there to there because I need this, this second edge to be there. And you'll see why in a, in a second. It's actually already here on the other end of the building. But because I had deleted it in the last one, I had to redraw it in here. Okay, so once I've got that edge, I'm almost good to go. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use the tape measure to measure a distance here. I'm going to go from the end of the roof to the midpoint of the roof. And it's going to tell me that that's 14 feet 9 inches right now. So at 14 feet 9 inches, that's exactly the dimension that I want to go back from here back on the roof because when you look at a hip roof from the top in a plan view, the line that the roof makes is exactly 45 degrees, which means I need to go exactly half this distance back here to generate a perfect hip so that the slope on this part of the roof, this part right here, is exactly the same as the slope on this part of the roof right there. Okay, so pretty simple. Let's measure that again. I'm going to go from here to the midpoint, which is 14 feet 9 inches. So let's just go ahead and draw from here back. I'm going to type in 14 feet 9 and enter. And look what I ended up with. I ended up with a little construction point. There it is right there. I don't know if you can see it. It looks like a little black cross. The farther out of zoom, the more visible it'll become because it doesn't change size even when the, the building changes size. So you'll see it right there. Basically, that's a little point in space that's telling me where I should draw to. And it's pretty simple. Watch. I'm going to take the line tool. I'm going to draw from the corner of the roof up to that little guide point. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to go from the corner of the roof up to the guide point. And it looks it looks just like a couple of lines there, but watch what happened. If I take the eraser and then erase away this edge and this edge and this edge, what happened when I drew those edges is I actually ended up drawing another face underneath there that you couldn't see until I took away those other edges. So now that I've done that, I can go ahead and take away that guide point. I just selected it, and I'm going to hit delete to, to get rid of that. And what I've got now is a proper hip, meaning this angle right here is exactly the same as this angle. And if we look at it from the top, just like that, and if we could measure this angle, this would be exactly 45 degrees. And that's how a hip roof works. Let's do the same thing on the other end. So it was 14 feet 9 inches, right? So we're going to go up and get the tape measure tool and measure from here 14 feet 9. There we go. We've got a little guide point. I'm going to use my line tool to go from the guide point to the corner of the roof, the guide point to the corner of the roof, just like that. And then I'm going to get the eraser tool and erase away the three edges that were hiding the new face that I just made. And there, lo and behold, oops, I need to get rid of my guide point. There we go. Select and delete. I've made a hip roof out of a gabled roof um, just by creating a little guide and then drawing a few edges and then using the eraser to take some things away. Okay, that concludes uh, chapter, I'm sorry, video uh, number 18 of chapter 4 of Google SketchUp for Dummies.